I'm here on the slopes of the volcano Etna with Michele Faro of Pietra Dolce, excellent winemaker. Behind us are his old vines, 70, 80 years old, on the slopes. It's called Barbagalli. Yeah, Vigna Barbagalli, yes. And tell me about these old vines. I mean, they produce tiny little crops and make excellent wines. What's the story? Well, the story, it's a, a 70, as, as you say, 70, 80 years old uh, vineyards uh, on the slopes. And uh, uh, I feel that the, 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 um, the character of the wine is given by the, by the, the really, the really strange place where you find the slopes is like an amphitheater, an old yeah. amphitheater, like we say, very protected, and uh, and old vineyards for sure. That, in my opinion, give uh, an excellent product, uh, as um, as we know about uh, 500 grams one kilo per plant. So it's uh, it's really it's really this the different. Uh, this makes the difference between. Uh, between uh, a young uh, and young one and the whole vineyards, that's my opinion. Uh, yeah. How long can they live these vines? Uh, you know, on Etna, on Etna you can also find uh, vines of uh, 150 years old. It's oh. amazing, it's unbelievable. And, and they're yeah. ungrafted too, there's no... Ungrafted, prephyloxeres, yeah. prephyloxeres. Because yeah. the phylloxera doesn't like the sandy volcanic exact, soil. Exactly, exact. and we are very high on sea level, so sometimes in some, in some uh, corner you find, you still find very old, old vines like this, yes. Well, let's go down and look at yeah, them. Okay. Look at you, just nothing. <laughs> There's like three bunches on this one. And you know what we like is to do, is, uh, is to, to leave the plants growing in, in, the, in the wild system, you see. Yeah. We, don't, we, don't wanna, we don't wanna touch so much the plants, we don't like. We wanna, we wanna let the nature <laughs> yeah, do the like course. Just wild yeah, vibe, yeah, you know? yeah, and you, you, you don't need to cut any, 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 any fruit from the plants, just uh, it's a small production. It's, uh, <laughs> so. And the year in, uh, in this kind, in this kind, yeah, it's, and you find uh, always in this kind of vineyards, you find always a 5% of very old traditional varieties uh, like uh, Minnella, like uh, Nerello Cappuccio and some others. But 95% was always Nerello Mascalese, naturally, from where. It's incredible. You know, it's very, this is the typical Etna <laughs> vineyard. It's, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's very like our grandfather <laughs> did. Beautiful. And you also find some olive trees around it. Very cool. Yeah. And it's everything is on the rocks. It's planted on the rocks because in the in the old years our grandfather used to um, used to use every corner of of, of, so of land was important to plant uh, to plant uh, uh, vines. Bella. Mm -hmm.